of where Yoshi's in San Francisco, California, about to hear the soulful sounds of the San Francisco State University Gospel Choir. They'll be backed up today by Mike Check, who, by the way, is using the new Jam Hub. I'm going to be interview a few of the band members just to see how much they are liking the equipment and the difference that it's making in their performance. We'll be back to you in a minute. Tell me what you think about the equipment. Personally, I love it. I, it. It really is actually basically a lifesaver for drummers. You, I'm glad that I'm able to control everybody's volume, hear everybody, hear what I want more, what I want less, more to click, more to piano. Just, I'm just happy that you know we got an opportunity to use it, and you know hopefully we can use it again. Zach. Zach, nice to meet you, man. And tell me what you think about the Jam Hub instrument. Uh, Jam Hub was cool because um, as a drummer, it allows me to personalize my mix to me. So, you know, I'm trying to lock in with the bass and the lead keys. So um, it allows me just to, to turn down everything and turn up the click track and the bass and the keys so I can really hone in in the zone of what I'm supposed to be doing. Nice, nice. So you're basically able to just uh, have everything to the what you need in order for you to make your performance right. Yeah, it gets real comfortable for me. I can turn up the keys as loud as much as I need to, turn down the keys, turn up the bass, turn down whatever's out there, and turn up the click track so I can lock in with that and keep the pocket going. So there's definitely an uh, instrument you want to use from today for it? Yeah, definitely. Vince, nice to meet you, man. Nice, nice to meet you. This is another gentleman that's used a uh, great piece of equipment, Jam Hub. How did you like it? I like it a lot, man. It's actually really nice that you can tailor um, everybody's sound to what you like. And the other thing I really like is even as a bass player that um, it comes with all the little adapters and everything so that way you can patch your sound directly into the unit. And um, yeah, the record function is really cool in there because even like when you're rehearsing or even when you're using it for a live session, you can actually record onto the unit and be able to use that to reference later for shows or whatever kind of thing. So I think it's a great piece of gear. Um, I'm glad we got to use it, you know, and it's. Um, I look forward to using it again. Big help to you. Thank you very much. All right. Appreciate it. Nate, how you doing, man? And That's good. That's good. So how'd you like Jam Hub? It was great, man. It offers a lot of customability for each person. You could fully customize your own mix, and that's really crucial when you're playing with, like, a 10-piece band. So you can basically tune up and tune down and listen to exactly what you need. Yeah, exactly. I could I could specify like my guitar is louder than the bass, or you know, vice versa. So it's definitely a real good situation. How do you like uh, your jam hub? How's it working for you? Oh, it's great. It allows us to uh, basically control our own mixes, and you know, we're able to really dial in exactly the sound we want without overpowering our audience tonight. Um, as you'll probably see in, in the footage, um, we're performing like right next to the audience. So the Jam Hub really came in handy because it's basically an affordable in-ear monitoring system, and um, you know just allows us to to really play at levels that are you know comfortable to us, but don't really you know intrude on our audience. And um, it's great. We have uh, all the musicians going through it. Myself. Two other keyboards, uh, bass, guitar. Um, we got four horns, drums, a drum track, all going feeding into the the Jam Hub, and we're all able to control each input individually. And it's it's been awesome. It's like better than I, I ever imagined it would work out. So, you know, uh, hopefully uh, people will start using this on a re more regular basis, and and uh, it can become like a, a kind of a standard. So this is something you definitely want to keep around from today for. Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll use it in our future concerts, and uh, I'm actually planning on using it at church, uh, uh, where there's always a lot of times issues with the choir and the band, the band playing too loud. So this really alleviates that issue, and it, it also helps the sound guys that can focus on the front of house, and you know the 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 mix for the band is more kept internal, and it's not bleeding into microphones, and it's not. Um, you know, overpowering the house. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely continue to use it.